Hello, Salt Strong Nation. Joe Simons, like diamonds, back again. This is going to be, I think, the most exciting thing that we've ever published, that we've ever shared, that we've ever done. It's been out for a few days now. Our current Insider members already have access to this, and we've already seen a massive, massive increase in brand new people who were maybe like you, maybe on the fence, and now this is just like, all right, no brainer. Uh, you've got me. I, I want this. Um, and, and here's what I'm talking about. It's the Smart Fishing Spots platform. This is now what we've been kind of teasing about V2, aka version two for the layperson. It, it is now being rolled out. And what V2 means is that we've solved the problem on fishing spots. Let me give you kind of a 30,000 foot view, maybe even a little history lesson about fishing spots. There have been spot maps, right? Luke, Luke's on here, Nick's on here, if you guys are listening in. So it's not just me babbling this whole time. But <laughs> Luke and I and, and our dad, and I know even Nick, who's more of an offshore angler, you know, way back in the day, and I'm talking about in the 80s and into the 90s, you know, the, these spot maps, right? Uh, there's a lot of different brands, but they would come out with maps and, and they would team up with guides and they would pinpoint different areas. So it wasn't necessarily GPS spots, but it, it was small enough areas where you could find it and be there and fish it in a boat, kayak, wade fishing, whatever. And, and they became popular because they, they were helpful. Um, but there's something called a tail on a fish which makes it move and fish move every single day. They're moving every tide cycle. They're certainly moving every season. And those maps, last time I looked, I've compared them from to the ones that still sell in tackle store today, the ones we had 10 years ago, it's the same spots. The spots haven't moved in 40 years and the fish are moving every day. And I believe that's why so many anglers who, who start off and they get these spot maps and they get so focused on a spot instead of looking at trends and the type of spot, which is what we teach in the Insider Club, they get really frustrated because they keep going back to these same spots, just hoping and praying that the fish might be that that day. And yet, once again, I mean, think about this, guys and gals, these spot maps and even GPS spots that people say, well, that's a hot spot, they haven't changed in decades. And so what we did, and there's a big reason it's called smart fishing spots, is we now have smart spots. And what that means is that based on all of these different variables that Luke's going to share here in a little bit, we're not going to give you the whole secret sauce. This is way more valuable than the KFC secret recipe, chicken recipe, but we have a bunch of different variables that all get calculated together and it will literally predict actual spots, not necessarily like a GPS spot. You can obviously drop a pin and get the GPS. The, the, you can literally put it into your unit if you want to, but it's going to give you the area to go fishing based on the wind, the tides, weather, and all the different variables that go into it. And so this is next level. This is the holy grail. This is what every angler, when we asked them a while back, when we said, all right, what's your number one challenge? Like, if we could create anything amazing, what would it be? And like, just show me where to fish. <laughs> just show me how to find the feeding fish. I want you to point me in the right direction. This is it. So with that intro, Nick, I don't know if you want to take over, then Luke kind of walk through how we built some of this stuff. Once again, we can't show you or give you everything. Only the members get that. And this is free to all Insider members. Um, but, uh, at least kind of explain, uh, and, and walk through what you got, Nick, there, you got an area in Tampa, yeah, so, how the sucker works. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll do, uh, maybe just two spots here. So what we're going to see now is, you know, we had our oyster beds and our seagrass layers. Now we've got a new button there called smart spots. So I'm going to enable this and what's it, what it does is it'll actually start highlighting areas that are, um, ideal for fishing based on the time. Now, down here at the bottom, we've got a uh, forecast slider. So as I move this through, it'll, yes. it'll highlight. And then so you click sick. on this, it'll rate that spot. So the performance for the yellow spot is good. The, at this particular time, Saturday at 1 p.m., the winds are east, southeast. It's an incoming tide. And then the expected species to catch. Now, you'll see down here at the bottom left or, or the bottom center, there's these little toggle buttons. So I can, I can actually page through the, the time. Now, right there, you see how it turned purple? This is probably a slack tide. So there aren't a lot of water moving. And then I can keep paging through. Now, just change over here. Let me go to this one. This might be 
Uh, looks like it's still outgoing tide, but it could be that the winds changed. Um, it could be a lot of different variables. But as you go through the time, you'll see uh, different uh, spots light up. Yeah, so and, sick. And, and I'll go through the, the the difference on this compared to the those maps that you can get in stores like Walmart has has some. And uh, the problem with those the printouts is that it all it only factors in really just the season. So you know, fish do move by season. And that's pretty obvious what what those maps don't do they literally can't do is they can't factor in the current weather like the wind direction or even the tide cycle throughout the day right and so this actually looks into on an hourly basis what's the current flow doing is it going in is it going out and then also what's the wind doing is it coming from the north south east west or somewhere in between and and what this system does is it calculates all that stuff it takes into account the wind direction is is the shoreline like some of these shorelines are wind are, are wind protected where the, it's actually sheltering the the water from the wind others are wind blown and different seasons uh, have different preferences that the fish will actually gravitate towards wind blown shorelines in some seasons and they'll totally go away from them in other seasons and so this literally does all that for you so you don't have to to worry about the details yes we do share all the details uh, for insert club members it's uh, the finding spots mastery course uh, goes through the details on on why fish move and what, why they naturally gravitate to certain areas based on the conditions but the the number one thing that that fishermen miss out on is they don't plan their trip and include the wind and and the actual tidal flow right a lot of people just totally miss out on the wind and that's a very big deal most people just look at the tide charts and that's better than nothing but a tide chart without the wind and without the actual weather, you're just not going to be consistent. And, and so this platform really does it for you. It'll make you a consistently good angler. Yeah, and here's a classic example. So right now, this is Sunday at five o'clock. You can see the spots that are prime or that are great at the way uh, the performance are, are on this uh, east side of Fort Soto. And then as I page through, that looks like it might be a slack tide, maybe the wind to change. And now it's on the western side. So it actually tell you throughout the day which areas to focus on. Yeah, and, and it, uh, same, same with current flow, right? When the current knows right. the current's going one way or the other, and it'll factor the, the, ge the general areas that you need to fish. It'll start, it'll start highlighting the, the zones that are getting hit by that current or getting hit by that wind. And, uh, and again, it just takes a lot of the guesswork out. So this is definitely uh, the, the, the best way, the most efficient way to just quickly make sure that you're going to be in the right zones and also make sure that you're out of the dead zones as well, just as importantly. Yeah, and it takes all the guesswork out of it. And this, in my opinion, is the biggest time saver thing that we've ever created. I mean, this is this is the holy grail. Uh, this is something that uh, obviously newbies are going to use it like crazy, but even experienced people, right? Even guys like you and me, Luke, I mean, I, I want to use it just to make sure that, because I, I still believe you should do your own pre-trip planning and at least have an idea about why the fish are going to be in these areas and don't just rely on on this um but man just to back up what what our thinking is we're uh, we're gonna have a little legend i don't think it's on here just yet right nick it's, yeah that's the, not added yet okay, that'll the be color there legend okay that'll yep, be there you'll see it over you'll see it in the top left corner i'll tell you what each spot means the colors mean that sort of thing but so cool and so like that area we were just in in tampa in three months from now that'll look completely different right you, based on all these variables right because fish do move whereas those old spot maps or even just your friend or your grandpa that said hey this is a money spot yeah it might be it, it's some specific time of the year and tide cycle but the the rest of the time it might be a horrible spot and that's what this does that's why it's smart and i've never seen anything like this that takes some human intelligence and some artificial intelligence and, and really ties it in all together so what do we have here nick you moved it up to the carolinas yeah somewhere? so this is a uh, wilmington area and it, just another classic example where it's, it's highlighting uh, this region and then as we page through or tab through the hours of the day there's like a it looks like there's a lull in the uh in the spots and then it starts shifting over here uh so sick <laughs> yeah and the, and the cool thing is that this is all accessible from your phone. So you can literally be out on the water and, and it's almost like having a Google map. You can be on the water. You can put that map up. You can see the pinpoint on where you are. And then you can watch yourself going in and out of the zones as well. And then as time goes on, right, you can just refresh the screen and then it'll start lighting up the different zones to go to. And you literally can just go right there. So this is 
this is definitely a next level and uh, and this has just started. So we're going to continually add more and more spots as we see new reports come in and as we personally go and explore new areas. And so just know this is just getting started and this is going to only grow from now. On that little slider, Nick, that's going by hour. How far out could someone go day wise? Uh, so this is from, see, it starts the 29th mm -hmm. all the way to the 8th. I was told there's going to be no math today. Yeah, that's too much math. Yeah. I know, I know. So <laughs> Many it's, days, it's, numerous days. So lots of days. <laughs> Plus, he had a month change in there, too. So it's oh, like, gee, yeah, carry the one. Like 30 10. days, <laughs> has September, April, and November. <laughs> All the rest well, of it. We'll say, we'll say bigger doesn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, well, dude, this is so sick, man. I mean, can you can you guys imagine if this existed 10, 15, 20 years ago? I mean, this is crazy. This has been yeah. a lot of work, so huge kudos to Nick. And and as Luke said, this is still really in the beta mode. I mean, this is the this is the basic version of this. this is still awesome, and this yep. will only get better over time. And um and and as you continue as an insider member to log in and and check this before hopefully every trip, you're just going to see this getting smarter and smarter and better and better. Uh, so pumped. Yeah, and, and we have. I was going to say too, we have a lot of members who are going through this and we're getting feedback too. And so we're going to continue yep. adjusting this based on user feedback, just to make sure that's as, as, as effective and efficient as possible to make sure that you can go out there and just consistently catch, uh, catch fish, redfish, sea trout, snook flounder is really what it's focused on now. And we'll start even adding other species as well, uh, over time. Again, it's all based on user, user feedback. Yep. And every member on our team, meaning our full-time fishing coaches, these are guys are getting paid to fish the oyster uh bed feature I don't, I don't know did we lose you there nick it dropped uh, in color. No. oh sorry i'm that so picture here. they had a funny picture luke with a with a beard <laughs> oh yeah i just lost it what i was doing is, uh, is <laughs> i was actually going to show this is a master map of all the smart spots but i don't want to give away too much but i just wanted to show how much coverage we have and it goes clear on over to texas but i was taking a screenshot of it and i had a photo of Luke, where I photoshopped a beard on him. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I can pull it back up. But That's the, uh, the, it the, looks like now. yeah, yeah, pull it out. It's a good one. Okay. If you got I it. Find it here. Yeah, I saw a flash for a second. But <sighs> the, the oyster yeah. bed thing, we did it. We already did a podcast on it. So I'm not going to hit it too hard here, but oh, man, it is sick. I mean, it, it, uh, yeah, here, let me pull it. It up. pulls up all the oyster beds in your area and we're adding more we've already heard from you saying oh it's not in this area we, we understand like it, this is a lot of data and uh some of it's easier to find than others uh we're not out actually you know scuba diving and taking pictures of oyster bed uh this takes a lot of time so it is coming we're uh, we're doing our best to get it up as quick as possible but every one of our fishing coaches so far has found a brand new oyster bed they did not know about in their area from this and has caught fish there. That is really cool. And, uh, and a couple of them obviously have documented in our insider reports for you insider members. Uh, but if you're not using that, that is so powerful. Maximize the structure, maximize the amount of fish you catch and uh, just look for areas that have oysters and seagrass and uh, start there if you're lost. But obviously the other quick option is these smart fishing spots. And uh, you'll exactly. notice a lot of them are in areas that are yeah. with oyster beds and seagrass. So, yeah, you can turn uh, so all cool. three on and then you've got like the trifecta. You've got everything right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. So cool. Here's that photo, Luke. It was a very rough Photoshop job. I still, I still can't see it. Yeah, I can't oh, you see can't it. see it? Yeah, fortunately it's blocked. Oh, oh there, there it is. Yeah. Oh, there it is. So we're trying to get a a, a picture and Luke's like, well, that's a good one, but I don't have my beard. And Nick's like, I can fix that. <laughs> Very rough Photoshop job. Um, like a I'm young serious. boy, Luke, a young boy. So that's it. Uh, we don't want to belabor this too much because we want you to go in there and use this and give us feedback. And if you haven't signed up as, as an Insider member, what the heck are you waiting for? Someone to literally show you where to fish every week because that's exactly what we're doing here. So sign up at saltstrong.com. You'll get unlimited access to this. We've teased that we're going to be raising the price at some point. We are a lot of it because of this. There's a lot of development time and money as you can only imagine. 
And, uh, and as we've said, this is just the beginning. There's a lot we're doing on the inshore. There's a lot on the near shore and even offshore. So even if you're going out and doing offshore fishing on wrecks and reefs and ledges, there's some really, really cool intel there. And uh, we're just going to continue to bring more to this software. And uh, some call it software. It's a tool, web-based app, whatever the heck you want to call it. Uh, it is really, really, really powerful. And as Luke said, you can put it on your phone just like any normal app. You could sit there, you're automatically logged in, put it on your tablet. I know some people are taking the little tablets out on the water with them just to have a bigger screen. It's got literally everything you can imagine at your fingertips from tides, look at that, to the even best time to fish if, if you uh, click on each one. And we've got every weather thing you can imagine. And you can do your own tracks. I mean, really, really, really amazing uh, tool with only more to come. And, uh, you know, we're, we're anglers helping anglers here. So we want to hear from you guys. And that's how this has continued to get better. Nick's got a whole email set up just for feedback on, uh, on, this, on this tool. And, uh, man, it, oh, it's so cool. I'm just so pumped about this smart because we've, we've been talking and building this behind the scenes forever. And we've been so excited to tell you guys. So it's finally here. So yeah, there's, and there's no ads you like when you're in there you're not getting just blasted by ads and having all these pop-ups this is literally just for members only we're not trying to sell anything this is we're just trying to help our members our our, our job is to help members catch as many fish as possible and just continually get better catch more fish and save money on tackle and so this is all about helping you out so there's no fluff in here it's just all about everything about it is to help you go out there and catch more fish and do it more safely we have the weather in there as you can see in the top nick was showing the radar so you can see which way the clouds are going it's literally everything you need to go out there and, and just just have fun on the water and, and do it in a safe way as well. It's awesome. Well, guys, we're going to end this one early because we really do want you to play with it. If you're already a member and give us some feedback. And if you're not a member, go sign up right now, this instant, like who knows, hundreds and hundreds of others have done just in the last day or so. We've had a massive influx of new members uh, because of this, which is already kind of teased uh, prior to this podcast going live and uh, holy smokes I mean just literally game changing and our whole job as Luke said is to help you save time and money and this does both I mean gas is more expensive than ever and uh, gosh who wants to go having scout out areas and go run around forever spot to spot hoping and praying there's fish there this does all of that for you it takes all the guesswork out and it uh, just gives you a massive advantage over the fish and, and even your fishing buddies and other locals who are sitting there just hoping and praying. So uh, stop, stop the just hoping that there's fish there and have, have some tools, have some software that's going to give you a, a, an edge over these fish. So any questions, let us know down below in the comments. The best place is at saltstrong.com in the fishing tip section. And if you want to join the club and get unlimited access to this, it's at saltstorm.com and it's the insider club. This is just one of the many perks on top of tackle discounts and all kinds of shortcuts and on the water reports we're doing every single day. Uh, I think, I think you'll be blown away. Most members are like, I had no idea. You guys have been marketing to me forever. We hear that all the time. I've been seeing your ads and your tips. I had no idea you had all this behind the scenes and uh, I know you'll be blown away with it. So Nick, awesome job, dude. Luke, Thank awesome job in helping uh, build this. And uh, we will talk to you guys on the next episode. Peace. Sounds we out. good. See ya.